Okay, since we just did, uh, in the last video, we did a surface area problem. Let's do one more volume problem. So a sphere has a diameter of 5 inches. Find its volume. So volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Diameter is 5, which means the radius is 2.5. So I'm just going to plug that in for r. Crunch these numbers. So on my calculator, I'm going to type in 4 times 2.5 to the third power. If you can't find that number, just do 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5 if you can't find the, the root button on your calculator. Then divide that by 3 and you get 20.83. And notice I didn't multiply in the pi. I should put that in a different color. I didn't multiply in the pi there, so I'm going to keep that in terms of pi. So that would be 20.83 repeated pi cubic inches. If you wanted that not in terms of pi, then you just take 20.83 repeated and multiply it by 3.14 and you get that the volume is 65.4 cubic inches. Okay, sometimes you'll be given the volume and have to, f I mean sometimes, you'll, oftentimes you'll be given the radius or enough information to find the radius and then be asked to find the volume of the surface area. Sometimes, though, you might be given the volume and asked to find the radius. So in order to do that, you have to know how to use a cube root. So when a number is raised to the third power, it's called being cubed. So something like that, x cubed is how we say it, is equal to 27. If we wanted to solve that, then we would take the cube root of both sides. So the cube root of 27 is 3. You can either do that on your calculator, or just think of a number that multiplies it to itself three times to get 27. So when you're trying to get rid of a 3 in the exponent, take the cube root. So what is the radius of a sphere whose volume is 200, sorry, 2,304 pi? So volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So for volume, I'm going to plug in 2,304 pi and set it equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, one thing I could do right away to make my life easier is to divide both sides by pi. And that's just going to cancel it out. Then you could divide both sides by 4 thirds too if you wanted. Um, I'm going to do it in two steps and multiply both sides by 3 to emphasize getting rid of that 3. So now we have 3 times 2,304 which would come out to be uh, 6,912 and then that would equal 4 r cubed then we could divide both sides by 4 and get Fetty Wap's second favorite number, 1728. And then take the cube root of both sides. And the cube root of 1728 is 12. And that equals R. And that's our radius. And the radius would just be in units because it's a length. And uh, that's all I got to say about spheres. Thanks for watching.